Hi guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Hi guys, I'm Raging DJ and I'm here to present to you Raging Fundamentals, Ayala Land Logistics Holding Corporation. All you need to know the basics and the fundamentals. So you must watch this before you will buy this stock, especially if you're a long-term investor. So disclaimer guys, all information came from the official All HC disclosures from the PSE Edge and I am not affiliated with Ayala Corporation. So according to their website guys, Ayala Land Logistics and Holding Corporation is the leading developer and operator of industrial parks and a major player in real estate logistics in the Philippines. So, uh, bakit ba natin kailangan uh, aralin si Ayala Land Logistics Holding Corporation? So, previously guys, I made a couple of videos regarding AC Energy Corporation. Uh, last year, nagsimula tayo, then we tracked their uh, movements specifically from the SRO, the follow-on offering, the private investment, as well as the international infusion. So, we're we were able to hit our goal in that and we are trying to go long, further go long in order to um, enjoy the dividends as well as the price appreciation of the company. So aside from AC Energy, I'm seeing that the Ayala Land Logistics and Holding Corporation is another solid company that has a very bright future ahead, especially if you are finding or what wanted to uh, have some long-term stocks or stock picks, Ayala Land Logistics and Holding Corporation is a very good pick. So recently guys, just this, this September 8, 2021, there was a disclosure from Ayala Corporation. According to them, we advise that Ayala Corporation received today, September 2021, the approval of the SEC of the Articles of Incorporation and Bylaws of AC Logistics Holding Corporation, or as they call it as AC Logistics. It is a wholly owned subsidiary of Ayala Corporation. So based on this um, disclosure, guys, uh, we could not, we could not make some assumptions, but and behold that Ayala is also uh, focusing its investment on logistics especially it is a it's a booming industry in this time of the pandemic so we cannot we, we do not know maybe in the future it um, I, they would incorporate this in AC logistics with the Ayala Land Logistics and Holding Corporation or the other way around what is clear at the moment is Ayala is focusing on this renewable energy as well as its logistics investment so According again to their website, uh, in terms of their portfolio, they have five industrial parks with approximately 224,000 square meters warehouse gross land area and 92,000 square meters commercial gross land area. So in terms of their portfolio, they have several. They have techno parks, warehouse, retail or office, as well as cold storage. So let's go on them one by one. So tingnan natin guys, ano nga ba yung pag-aari ni all HC or Ayala Land Logistics and Holding Corporation and bakit ba bakit ba siya natin nakikita bilang isang solid company especially for a long term growth and potential so in terms of the techno parks number one we have here the Laguna Techno Park this was launched in the 1990s straddling the cities of Santa Rosa and Binyan in Laguna it spans around 471 hectares and is home to some of the world's leading manufacturing investors Next, we have the Cavite Techno Park. This was launched in 2015. It is the second industrial park that was established under Ayala Land Logistics and Holding Corporation. And it is found in the booming Calabarzon region, which is considered to be the country's industrial corridor. So in terms of their locations, uh, they are presently seen in Binyan, Laguna, Calamba, Laguna, Nay Cavite, Porac, Pampanga, and Manila. Next, in terms of their retailer office, these are famous. Number one, we have here the Tutoban Center. So this is a famous um, attraction in Divisoria. So Ayala, Ayala Logistics and Holding Corporation made a big investment in Divisoria through Tutoban Center. It is considered to be the oldest and biggest trading district and is, it includes integrated wholesale and retail complex and it is recognized as the premier shopper's bargain hub in the Philippines. Next, we have here the South Park Center. It is a mixed-use development uh, center which has more than 200 retail, dining, services, and office spaces. From fashion finds to food offerings to work opportunities, it is located near Muntinlupa in nearby municipalities. And last on their portfolio, they have the cold storage. 
In terms of this one, they just recently acquired last April 2021 um, a cold storage facility in their Laguna Techno Park. It is formerly called as the Techno Freeze and it caters clients with diverse products such as processed meat products, dairy and ice cream, and adhesives. So guys, as we can see in terms of their portfolio, sobrang dami pang project ni Ayala Land and Logistics Holding Corporations na currently is being developed. So in the near future, 5 to 10 years from now, I'm seeing that this corporation would be booming. Okay, something that could possibly include it in the PSEI or the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So thank you guys for listening. Follow me on my Facebook page, Raging underscore DJ. And don't forget to click the subscribe button in the lower right portion of your screen. So guys, thank you. Hi guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.